Hey, this is YBR with No Man's Sky. I promised I was going to play this game, but I'm a few days late compared to everybody else because I was waiting for the PC version of the game instead of playing the PS4 version of the game. Now we're going to initialize, which basically starts the game. When you do that, there's a robot voice to talk. There's a long delay between what they say, but not long enough for me to say anything without talking over them. So I'm going to be quiet and you can listen to what they say. If you don't care about what they say, just skip ahead by about a minute. Anyways, here we go. And that's all the robot will say. So we're on the planet called Whippage Cod Ju 993, or maybe it's JU 993. Who knows how to say the planet name? It's crazy. And just so you know, the amount of game I've already played at the moment is like about 10 minutes. I really wanted to get a feel for the menus and stuff because the first time I tried to record a video, I was just fumbling through the menus so hard it wasn't really fun to watch. And I talked over the robot voice and I learned my lesson about that as you saw and we just said, you know what, be quiet while the robot talks. So right now we're going to redeem bonus content, which is the pre-order ship I get. It's the Horizon Mega Ship. And we are going to compare it to my current ship and be like, oh, look how much better it is. And we're going to move this carrot sheet into there and then accept that. And then our ship looks 10 times cooler, but it's still broken. And I, if I remember correctly, the game tells you to go into this ship almost immediately or soon. But for now, since it's not telling me to do that, let's look at the debris or the debris, if you want to call it the proper name. But saying debris is fun. Just try it. Debris. Anyways, reality seems to fold in on itself. One moment, I can see Debris in another a vast red orb, almost too large and too bright to behold. It knows me, inside and out, more than I ever could myself. Could this be the face of creation itself? Or in my hazy, freshly awakened state, am I being manipulated? A name burns itself into my mind, Atlas, and a request made without words that I should follow the path this being, this Atlas has set for me. Now, I have no idea what the two options actually do. The first time I chose this one, and that's all I've done, so we're gonna keep using that one. I feel suffused with the warm glow of approval. I was lost, but now I'm found. The Atlas acknowledges my allegiance, and I feel certain that it'll manifest itself again soon. And I had to read that kind of fast because it disappears on its own without me hitting anything to confirm that. So now it says, find your crashed starship and hold E to interact with it. So we're going to do that. And the game's going to say, hey, your ship's all broken. You need to repair it. To repair it, you need these carrot sheets, or maybe it's carrot sheets. <laughs> carrot, like a vegetable. They're the vegetable sheets. So you need those to repair it. You can hit tab to look at your inventory. You got one. You need three more. And then you also need to repair the pulse engine, which needs heridium, some more kerite sheets, and then some zinc. So that's what we're going to be needing to do eventually. But for now, we got to get out of here and gather the resources to do just that. So over here, we got some damaged machinery. We're going to go through all this, find what it has. It has an advanced cooling sigma. So it's a photon cannon cooldown times are significantly reduced. So it's something you attach to the ship, basically. Since I don't have a functional ship yet, I really don't care too much. Cargo right there. It's got some Grantine. What does Grantine do? Let's see. Go to Exosuit Inventory. It's a soft, workable alloy favored by artisans throughout the known galaxy. The popular trading good with many galactic shipping paths devoted to its sale and transport. So it doesn't sound like it's something I actually should be carrying around since it doesn't have a function. So what we're going to do is we're going to transfer it over into the spaceship. So now it's just being stored right there so I don't have it cluttering my inventory I'm using. That I cannot interact with so that Debris gets left behind. And there we got some plutonium in here. We got some more plutonium in here. We got nothing. The big old chest has absolutely nothing in it. And that appears to be everything around here that I can look in. And now that's getting close to what I know. I also know you could gather resources with this gun and that it has two ways of stopping functioning. First is you overheat it by going too long like that. And then you got to wait for it to cool down. The other is the number below it is like your ammunition. When you run out of ammunition, then you gotta add more ammunition, basically. So right here, we're gonna try to make sure we don't overheat the gun. Ooh, I just noticed something a little exploitable. 
When it goes red, you don't have to actually wait for the bar to go down. You just click again. Anyways, right now we're collecting iron. Iron is very, very useful because iron is used to make the Karai sheets. And there are robots that shoot you. I have no idea what's wrong with them. They just don't like you. They just start shooting you. And I'm like, fine, I'm going to shoot you back. And I'm going to shoot you harder than you can shoot me. And then they drop Debris. Debris, come here. Come here, Debris. Debris, Debris, stop rolling. And okay, yeah, I can't even read that because apparently there's another one shooting me. So you see at the top left, that's a health thing with the little boxes. We have five healths at the moment. Trying to keep as many as we possibly can. What's in this Debris? We got a neutrino module. Is that all of the, uh, it says Sentinel Force deactivated, so I'm assuming that's all of those robots. Now, going back to here, so what is the Neutrino module? It's a valuable computer part, much favorable trade item. For trade, I don't need to probably carry that around, so we'll throw it to the ship. Titanium, that's an element that could probably be useful. We'll keep that. Same with iron and plutonium. We'll keep those on hand. And let's see, what else can we gather up? We're going to probably, ooh, that's different sounding. I don't think I've ever had that found before, or do I have some already? No, it's just plutonium has a very similar icon. Like, I've, I kind of recognized it, but it wasn't... Is that an animal out there? Hold on, I gotta get this iron, but I see something walking. I've never seen an animal yet. Because I only played, like I said, for 10 minutes. Journey milestone accomplished. Oh, yeah, what did I do? Destroy the sentinel. Okay, yeah, I did do that. Hey, you could feed it. What does it eat? Heridium required. I don't have heridium, so I can't feed him. But he's so cute! And he's friendly. I like the fact that he's not attacking me violently. It's really nice. Oh, are you kidding me? Another one? Oh, wait. Maybe he wasn't going to attack me? I don't know. I mean, the other one attacked me without me doing anything. So I have to kind of assume that they are violent. Another neutrino module. Is that the only one of them? Yeah, it says deactivated. And then there are some things we could do with the multi-tool. We can, like, fix it up. So, like, the scanner right there. We need carbon for the analysis visor which allows the user to tag and identify planetary creatures and, to de and identify distant waypoints in alien constructions. Yeah, we could get that, sure. We gotta find some carbon, though. This is plutonium. That's actually pretty useful, probably, so we'll grab that because I haven't seen much plutonium around. Okay, all plutonium is gathered. Carbon is, like, natural, so maybe these plant things will give us carbon. Yes, it will! But it'll take a little bit. Gotta wait for the gun not overheat. And I noticed it looks like you get a little bit as you're evaporating something, but when it blows up, that's when you get the majority of the resource. So it's not worth it just tapping on it and then running away. You gotta blow it up before you continue along. So I think now I have enough carbon to repair the scanner. And then we could use the scanner. So hit C. Ooh. I get like supervision here. Parental supervision activated. What is that? Oh, that's the heridium. That's very, very useful. Awesome. So yeah, let's just zap that apart. Because that's used to repair the ship. And I overheated my gun. I was so excited I forgot to uh, pay attention to that. Nice job, YBR. And we're going to actually run out of uh, ammunition in a second. When that happens... I'll have to uh, get some more. And the way you do that, I've actually figured that out because I was poking around in the menus, is you go to the gun and then you say, hey, I'm out of energy. Make some using one of these resources. I guess carbon's probably going to be the most plentiful, so we'll use carbon to recharge my weapon. Now, I'm just going to collect all of this stuff because it seems like it'd be pretty useful. That's my only reason for doing it. It seems useful. Is it actually going to be useful aside from this one thing? I have absolutely no clue. It probably is, though. And for this video, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it now. There's not going to be too much editing because it's a lot of... I have no idea what I'm doing. I have no idea what's important and what's not. So I have no idea what to edit out kind of situation. Once I actually, you know, get more familiar with the game, I'll know what uh, is safe to kind of just say bye-bye to and what stuff I actually should keep in. But right now, I have absolutely no clue. So it all gets to stay in, basically. Unless there's something where it's like, okay, that was dumb. Goodbye to that part. Okay, am I actually digging a hole of this stuff? Like, it goes into the earth. We can just keep collecting it. Although it doesn't seem like we're getting quite as much as we dig. It seems like you got more when it was in the air. We'll see how much though we can get. I still see bits and pieces here and there to collect. Seems like we're running out though pretty soon. Is that clean? Oh, not quite. A couple more here and there. 
There's some more supposedly. Okay, it looks like we collected all of the heridium. How much do we have? We have over the 200 we needed. Awesome. And my life support is starting to get bad. I kind of understand the menus, but not really. Like, I know health is in the top left. And then toxic protection is that thing that's uh, at 25%. And then we also have another thing right as well. Like, we have a lot of things, and I'm not exactly sure all of those work yet. So let's see. What can we repair right now on the starship? Pulse engine. We still need zinc. This one, we still need carrot sheets. I think carrot sheets are actually something you can make. No, that's the wrong button. Hold on. E. It uses iron. So we can build one. Hit the wrong button again. Two. Three of those. And then we should be able to repair the launch thruster. All right. And then I guess it needs energy because it's at zero, just like my multi-tool was. And when that happens, it can't do anymore. So we need to do two more carrot sheets. How much iron do we have? We have enough iron for that. We have enough iridium, but we do not have zinc. We got to find zinc. Oh, so if we go into the spaceship, it refills the uh, the little green bar right there. All right. I wish I could figure out exactly what these things meant. I got to kind of learn this stuff here. So what is this? Oh, it's... All kinds of just stuff sitting around that you can interact with. Okay. That's what that means. Collect it all. Lots of just plutonium sitting there. Zinc. Collect that. See, some things you collect, some things you zap. Not sure if there's a particular reason why some are collect and some are zap. Carbon. Go ahead and collect carbon. No, we can't. My inventory is full. All right, let's throw some of this onto the uh, ship. So the neutrino module, that's just a trading item. Goodbye. Iridium, I don't know if I need two stacks of it, so we'll throw one there. Don't need two stacks of plutonium, probably, so we'll throw that there. And then we got three inventory slots, so we should be okay. So let's keep blowing things up. Collecting the carbon. I don't have much of it, but that's how you collect more things. And I notice my tool is only at 4%. So I will need some more of that soon. Let's see, will we be able to blow this up before the tool runs out of ammunition? It's gonna be close. No, we will not. So let's see here. Go to multi-tool. And we're going to recharge it using the carbon. Did that use all the carbon I had, actually? Yeah, it did. You got to kind of collect a lot of carbon then. Oh, no. We are not fighting again. You started it. You looked at me. How dare you look at me? Okay. Gone. I'm hitting the carbon, ain't I? Oh, you sneaky. Hiding in the tree. Thinking I can't hit you then? Well, you were right, but now you're not in the tree, so I can hit you. Bye. We got some more things we could grab here in the debris. Another neutrino module. And there was another one somewhere. If I hit C, maybe I'll be able to uh, find it. Nope, don't know where it went. Oh, wait. There it is. That one has a new technology. Bolt caster's ammo clip capacity is increased. What is the bolt caster? Yeah, YBR does not know what a bolt caster is. So there's heridium. That's not what we need. We're looking for zinc. And apparently... Oh, another milestone. I was going to say, apparently it's hard to find zinc. Destroyed five sentinels. Yeah, well, they keep bothering me. It's their fault. Is that something significant? Like this giant tower for some reason. I have no idea what it exactly is for. Ooh, that looks... uh. Interesting. It's glowing down here. Carbon only. Well, might as well collect it. Anything else interesting? Just more carbon. Always use more. Is that like a cave? Hey, that's a new resource. A mural. Collect it all because I've never seen that. Even more so than anything else I've never seen before up until this point. That sounds really weird to say. I just mean it's the rarest thing I've encountered so far. Collecting it all. We also collect that plutonium. No, we can't. My inventory is full. We'll throw, um... We'll just throw the plutonium in there because we're going to be collecting more of it anyways. And by throw it in there, I mean throw it in the spaceship. Hopefully we'll find some zinc in here. Really? That's full already? Wow, that's a lot of plutonium. Oh, wait a minute. We have zinc. That's what we needed, right? Or am I messing myself up? It was zinc, huh? 
Okay. I didn't even realize I collected it. I just was super distracted about something else, I guess, knowing me, and I missed that fact. Well, let's just throw all, a couple of things into the ship and see if there's anything else in here before we go back to it. Iron seems pretty pr plentiful, not too worried about that. Looking more for things that are rare. Like, what's that on the roof? Is that rare? Guess it's nothing. What about there? Guess it's nothing. I think caves are safer or something because I don't see the little toxic logo on the bottom left corner of my screen. So I'm assuming the toxicity is not doing anything because I also saw a minute ago it said like toxicity stabilized or something along those lines. I wasn't exactly sure what it means, but I think I have an idea now. Uh, it's just iron. Might as well blow it up since I zapped it a little bit. Well, that uses a lot of power. Okay. And I don't know if I should really be getting lost in a cave system right now. I really think I should probably be backtracking, but I don't know which way backtrack even is. Yeah, that's great, isn't it? I'm lost in a cave. Just gonna keep going and hopefully we'll find our way out. That looks like a dead end. Wait, maybe not. Just keeps going. Grab more plutonium. My inventory is going to be full, so I probably shouldn't even be bothering to grab things at the moment. I should really just be worrying about not dying here. Pretty big concern. Yeah, I know I can repair the starship, but right now I got to make sure I don't get lost in a cave system. I got so churned around. This is bad. Okay, there's a way out. Awesome. I don't think it's the way I came in, but as long as I'm out, I'm happy. So where is my ship? There it is. See a little ship logo. Oh, look at that. Two minutes away. Is that with running speed or walking speed? Hey, other spaceships. I don't think those are real people or nothing. They were just like fake spaceships, but still, that was neat. Anyways, a minute and a half away to my ship and then we can repair it. And then next time, we can fly. I'm going to probably end that video once we get there and repair it. Why? Because I'm scared of flying. That's why. Hey, you! Hey, you! Hey, you! It's not hostiles approaching. I'm approaching them. Bye-bye. Oh, there's another one. Strafe them. Strafe them. Oh, they can hit you when you strafe. It's just a waste of my time and I'm missing them now. Okay, just stand in the spot and shoot at them. Okay, let's move some of this stuff to the ship. And let's see, what do they got in here? I don't know. I collected it, but I don't know what it was. Ship is somewhere in this direction then. That giant cube is just weird. Like, why is there just a giant cube? It's the Borg. They crashed here. Obviously. Why, BR, how did you not realize that? I don't know. Not obvious. I don't get it. Wait, I heard something. Don't know what it was for sure or where it came from even. Oh, it's probably that guy. Trying to shoot me or something. Hey, is that carbon or is that something different? It's just carbon. Never mind then. My ship is in the wrong direction. I got distracted by the green thing. Almost to the ship. Come on. Hop a little. 25, 24. 23, 22. Okay, so it speeds up when you're running. So that little ETA is if you were to walk the whole way. Who? A chest. Oh. Inventory is always full. Just gonna grab a... Oh, was this the one I already saw? Yeah, I just didn't even notice there was a chest in the tree. Nice. Alright, so let's look into repairing the ship fully. We'll go into the ship for my safety. We need to make some sheets. And I don't know if I actually have the inventory space to make the sheets. That's going to be a little bit awkward. What do I do here? Do I have any room here? Okay, well, I can make one sheet here, but I don't know if you can actually stack them. And I'm hitting the wrong buttons here on the inventory. I make one sheet. Then i got to figure out how do I make another one with limited inventory space. Can't transfer, can't transfer, can't transfer. Can we stack these? Not enough. 
Hmm. What if I just hop out of the ship and throw something on the ground? Can I just uh, dump this on the ground? How do you dump things on the ground? Nope, that's not it. Discard. Hopefully I can pick it up later. Nope. Wait. Nope. It's gone forever. Probably shouldn't have discarded that then. Oh well. Back into the ship. Make another of the sheets. Stop hitting the wrong button there. Not great on the interface yet. Better than I was the first try, but not great. So there we go. So now we should have a functional ship. All we gotta do is put some uh, resources in it and we can fly. Do we have what we need? We got a little bit of that and then a lot of plutonium. So maybe we'll be able to fly, maybe not. We'll see. You can tell me now if I have enough resources if you played the game before. Try not to spoil too much though. I don't want the game to be all ruined, you know? Like, I'll do this, this. I wanna learn it on my own. Anyways, till next time, this has been YBR. I'll see ya.